So, welcome to Expert Pro Law and welcome to Arnold Property. Hi guys. Uh, yeah, and we're sitting here with uh, Kun Pitti. He's the, uh, the, actually the, the director of Expert Pro Law and he is the lawyer. And I know that many of you are very confused about the yellow and the blue book. You know, there's many questions always asked about yeah. this yellow <laughs> and what is the I blue. Got the same question every week. Okay. <laughs> so, Kun Petty, can you tell us something about what is the difference between the yellow book and the blue book? Is it necessary to have a, a, a yellow and a blue book? Please tell okay. us about that. Well, first, let me explain what is the yellow book and the blue book. Okay. Well, a yellow book and a blue book, well, basically, it's the house registration book. It's a book that shows the name of the person who lived in that house or used that house as a registered address. Okay. Although, so it means that every house or every condo in Thailand has a blue book. Okay. Because it shows the address of that place. It's actually like a, a passport of the house. Of the house, yes, exactly. And Thai people, if they live on that address, they can have their name registered in yep. that blue book? Correct. But Correct. a foreigner cannot. A foreigner cannot, exactly, because we have a, a, a special book for foreigners, which is um, a yellow book. Mm. What, that's what we call. So, this means that a yellow book is basically uh, a house registration book and if you want, if you put your name in a yellow book, it basically means that you have now official address in Thailand. Right. Since the, the foreigners cannot register their address in the blue book, the Thai government made a special yellow book for foreigners. Correct. And this doesn't show that you are the owner of the house. No. no. It okay. just is the registration of your address. Exactly. That's mm. correct. Right. So the proposed that once you register your name in the yellow book or the blue book, it means that later on if the government or if anybody want to send a post, uh, a mail, a postal mail, to you, then they will send to this address. Right. Also, I think it's very comfortable if you want to buy a motorbike or a car. Yes, exactly. Yep. Of course. Then, when you have a yellow book, you know, you just bring your yellow book to the to the motorbike shop or to the car shop, you know, and the it's easy to purchase. Otherwise, you have to go to the immigration. immigration and you need like a proof of address and but once you have a yellow book you don't need it exactly exactly next question is um how do you get a, a yellow book well the process um it takes some time and um, it all depends on the local authority of where your house is located but in general basically what you need is you need to go to your embassy okay and get a passport, your passport, uh, a certified copy by the embassy. And after you have that certified copy, you translate that copy and then you get a lawyer or get someone to certify that translation. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be done through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Bangkok. And then once you have that paper, you bring all that paper, and then you uh, apply for the uh, for the yellow book at the local authority. It could be a pumper or municipality. Right. So it's it's not an easy uh, exercise. You really have to go first to your embassy. Then you have you need a certification of the uh, of your passport. Right. With that, you have to go to Foreign Affairs to translate, to translate it. it. With that document, you can come to your local government and apply for a yellow book. Yeah, and then after you apply, generally it will take between one to two months mm. until you finally get the yellow book. And once you get the yellow book, you can now have the pink card. ID card. Right, right. Okay, and but is this whole exercise, is it also possible to say, Pulpeti, 
what, what do you charge me, you know, to uh, do this for me? Is it possible that you do the whole exercise? Well, I could assist you with the whole exercise, okay? Except the part where you need to go to the embassy because you need to be there in person. And then, but after that, I could go through all the procedure with, uh, with all of you. Right, 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 right. And is there a certain uh, fixed amount that you charge for that? Okay, uh, my fee for the yellow book is 10,000 to do the entire process, but it, uh, it doesn't include the translation fee. Okay, and you still have to go yourself to the embassy. Okay, now I hope this will uh, also solve uh, a lot of uh, questions, you know, answer a lot of questions about that yellow and that uh, blue book. And um, I look forward to, uh, to the next interview with Kun Pitti. So, uh, and if you have some questions, you know, please uh, contact us, you know, because then we will, uh, we will work on it. Right. Okay. Until next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.